What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I will be reviewing the WWE casket playset from Ringside Collectibles. Let's get right into it. But first I will say something. I opened this a few days ago, but I had to do some stuff before I got to film. And I lost, there's a top piece to this. There's another piece to this that goes on top of here into these two holes that finishes the tombstone. Hold on. I have the package. Let me show you. Right there. That top piece. Right on the top. I have the square part, but it's the top piece I'm missing. It got lost in my WWE toe. Yes, I know it's a mess. Because I went looking for it before I filmed. But... So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. This tombstone is breakable, though, so that's a good thing. It does come with an urn, which I really like. So, if you have... Oop, I dropped it. So, if you have, like, a Paul Bearer and an Undertaker, but you don't have an urn, do recommend buying this. It was $15. Um, and so... There's an urn. Oh, and it comes with this shovel, like the beat-up shovel. It's pretty cool. And then the best part, the casket. Honestly, it's not too bad. I do wish it was a little bigger, though, to be honest. Because some people, like Braun Strowman, have, like, arms that go out. Hold on. They have arms that go out like this. But if you like figures like that won't fit in here, so that's the one thing that I don't like. But the lid does split in half, kind of like you're at a funeral when their legs are cut, like their legs are covered up, but their head isn't. It's kind of like this, where their feet are covered, but their head's not. So, yeah, pretty decent. I want to see. If my Andre the Giant figure will be able to fit in here. So I'm going to try off camera. Let's see if I can do it. Guys, I did it. I, I was able to fit this monstrous figure into this casket. This figure is ginormous. Hold on, it's hard to open. Let me just set you guys down. This thing is monstrous to open. You got to open it from the bottom. I was able to fit this monstrous figure in here. But you do have to bend the legs if you're putting in an Andre. Because he's a little bit too tall. But other than that, he fits. The leg closes perfectly. But I did try this earlier today. This giant Gonzalez figure. Um, will not fit in it. He is the tallest wrestler in the world. Coming in at 8 foot tall. And he does not fit in the casket. This casket is just as big as him. He is as big as the casket itself. And there's this much room between this. And he's just as tall as it. So that's the one thing I wish they would make a casket that he can fit in in the future. So, yeah. But Andre the Giant does fit on there. In there. Not on there. I've already tried an Undertaker, the AJ Styles, Elite, brand new WrestleMania, well, last year in 2022, but then the Boneyard Undertaker Elite from Elite, I want to say 90? No, not Elite 90. What series was it? I'm not sure, but that Undertaker does fit in here. The Ultimate Edition Kane fits in here. But I think this is the only figure that won't fit in here. Then again, I do have the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. He is definitely smaller than Andre. He fits in there perfect. You can see there's still actually a little room between him and the top of the casket. But, but then again, if you have like a Fiend, the Fiend, he won't fit in there because his arms are like this. Like, when you try to put them down like this, kind of like this guy's arms. Giant Gonzalez is like that. If you try to put them down, they don't go down. With Braun Strowman, his arms are 
like out here on our Braun Strowman Elite. Hold on. I actually have the Braun Strowman Elite, matter of fact, so let me grab it. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, see how his shoulders don't go down like that Jeff Hardy? Like this arm. They go, like, out more than in. So, that is another thing. Action figures like this won't fit in there. He has, he's actually not big enough to fit in there anyway. So, that's the one thing I wish they would make. Uh, casket big enough for him. And a casket big enough for action figures like this. With, where their arms go like this out more than in. So they can fit in there. But other than that, I rated it 10 out of 10. Then again, the only disgrace is that Tombstone Top is very easy to lose. So, that's the one thing. This urn is super easy to lose because it's so small. So you might want to keep all the accessories, like, inside the casket if you're not playing with it. That's what I made the mistake on. I was holding the, the Tombstone completely together, like, right here. And it fell apart. I was able to catch the two main parts, but top part fell somewhere in there. That will be a monster to look through to find it. So, it will probably be stuck down there forever till I do a setup. But I don't, don't film my setups. So, you guys won't see it, but my parents will. I'll just show my parents. I don't like filming setups. So, overall, I rate it a 10 out of 10. Actually, nah, take that back. 9 out of 10, just because the this piece is easy, easy to lose, and the top of the tombstone is very easy to lose. So other than that, I rate it 9 out of 10. Definitely recommend um, buying it. Comes with a really cool box, too. See? Like, really cool. It has the casket, like, the side of the casket. Like, all that. I think that's pretty cool. It has everything it comes with. Yeah, I really like the box that it comes in. So, yeah, I definitely recommend picking it up. So, that will be today's video. I know I didn't pause it and, like, start here like I normally do. I just turned around the camera. I just need to finish this before I go to bed, so I need to go a little bit quicker. So that's why I had to go a little quick. Actually, hold on. How long are we going? Seven minutes. So I got, like, around three minutes. Actually, no, a little bit longer than three minutes till I have to go to bed. So, see you in the next video. And peace. And I dropped the camera.